Well, there you go, guys. That's a little inside peek behind the uh, behind the scenes, so to speak, of what it was like to be a part of the wargaming crew during Tankfest. And I got to meet a couple of CCs. Petty was there. Randy Duck was there. It was great to meet those guys. Didn't get any footage, but I did say hello briefly to uh, Dave, GM. I was playing a game. Uh, I th it may have been this game actually. I think Dave arrived behind me, so I just had to quickly sort of wave behind me. So hello. Uh, I'd be right over. <laughs> yeah, that's me saying I'll be right over to Dave. <laughs> but yes, Saturday was a great day. Sunday, I got to meet Eclipse. Eclipse showed up as well, and uh, he showed me his ankle, which was uh, something I'll never forget. So I really appreciate that, buddy. Uh, thanks for showing me <laughs> your nice purple swollen ankle. I do hope it's recovered now, but yeah, this is this is about as good as I could get for capturing footage at World of Ta uh, World of Tanks. Jeez, listen to me. This, <laughs> this is about as good as you can get for footage capture from the Tank Museum, Tank Fest, and we're in the old favourite. We're in the we're in the 107, and we've set it all up with gold because this is a press account. So hey, not my money, not something I need to worry about. But yeah, there are four consoles set up at the museum now and they will be a permanent feature is what I believe so if you are at the museum just be sure to stop by the gaming section as you see it here Blitz is to the wall on the other side of the wall on my right is Blitz they have four uh, what look like I don't think they're iPads I think they're other other kind of touchpad or, or, or whatnot they have four of those console has four consoles and PC this the area for PC is pretty much the same as it's always been it's not changed really so yeah this is the first year that console blitz and pc were all at the museum for tank fest at the same time it was quite an event and there were some fairly well no not fairly there were some big players from wargaming there ceo of wargaming was there so yeah you can't get much higher than that so from a wargaming point of view this was a massive deal a massive massive deal and something that I was particularly uh, honored to, to be a part of really was I was a part of the console crew for what felt like four days and honestly that was an absolutely fantastic experience I cannot thank Wargaming enough for inviting to, inviting me to this event I've, I've always wanted to go to Tank Fest. I was saying to my wife earlier this year that it would be great one day if I could go to Tank Fest. And I kid you not, a week later after saying that to her, Chris wrote me and said, Hey, are you free? <laughs> I said, Yes. And well, it all, the rest, you know, rest is history, as they say. And I, I went to Tank Fest for not just one day or two days, I was there for a full three days three and a half days actually because I arrived on Thursday afternoon and yeah it was an absolute blast and it really was a privilege not only to spend the sort of work day time museum time opening time tank fest time with these guys but to sit down with the console crew and talk to them over you know to sit down with them in a pub and just have a meal with them and just talk just, just talk the game over you know I, I had I did record a lot of the conversation that we had with the GoPro that I had, but obviously I didn't take it with me. <laughs> you don't take it into a pub, do you? <laughs> so not everything was recorded, but the conversation about the game was it was really eye-opening to me. And one thing that I, f I sort of feel the need to pass on is that you know we tend to see war gaming as just. A, a business entity and we can forget that there are people there are people involved in this game and having spent three and a half days four days with these guys I can see that well there's a real passion behind this game the developers everybody that is involved in making this game from the social media side KB Chris through to the tank design the ops design Max Chaos and and Plague they really do have 100% passion for what they do and I could see it coming through when I was at Tank Fest. Well, I got second place for the Tank Fest account so <laughs> <laughs> there we go. The scimitar is so 
Second. I, I was hoping for MVP, but yeah. Right, anyway, I cut myself off there. <laughs> What was I saying? Yes, the Wargaming crew, they have absolute 100% passion for this product. They have 100% passion for the game and for the tanks. And there is a real sense of oneness with the guys. Not just not just the console guys, the PC guys, the, the, the Blitz guys, console, all of them. Everybody, when they're in the same room, everybody comes together and helps each other out. And it was a fantastic experience. It was, it was great to see behind the curtain. For a short while and see the the human aspect of wargaming because I yeah I, I know I've I've been one of those players that slates wargaming for this slates them for that sees them as just oh you're just doing this for money grabbing or whatever but there's there is a real human aspect to this company and um, we might not agree with everything we don't have to agree with everything but as long as we have a dialogue that's open then that is then that's good that's healthy and with the new contacts that I've gained from Tankfest, I'm hoping that I can bring more of that dialogue to you guys. So, yeah, that is about all I have for this video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave it a like. If not, a dislike. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm going to do something different now. I'm going to leave you with some entertainment from our community manager. Catch you next time. La 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 Ha 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 Never gonna give you up Never gonna let you down Never gonna run around Hurt you Get Rickroll, Ricky <laughs>